Hi friends, it's Diane the Creative Inkster. Today is Tuesday, July the 12th, 2022, and it's Technique Tuesday. I'm coming to you with a recorded video this week as I'm on vacation enjoying time with my daughter, son-in-law, and new grandbaby. So I hope that you'll like this fun fold card that I found on the internet. And it was a YouTube video, but it was made in a different size. This one stands up. But look at the depth. Look at how beautiful this would be for place settings for uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas. If you had something like this with messages, uh, I'm going to show you how you use some pattern paper to go on there and you can take your take it away and use your imagination. There's also a piece on the back that I put for putting a message if this was a Thanksgiving card. The best part I like about this particular size, it's four and a quarter by just a hair under five and a half. So this is gonna fit in a standard envelope. Let's get started. I'll tell you the pieces that you need. So first off, you're gonna need a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by 11. So that's the long piece. You're going to need a piece of white that measures four by two and three quarters. This goes onto the back of your card for writing your message. For the four points and their colored designer series paper inserts, this one is a three by three with a mat, I'm sorry, that's the mat. And then this is the DSP that is two and seven eighths inch square. Then you need a piece of cardstock that is two and a half inches square and it's piece of designer series paper that pops in. Or if you were doing a message, you could put it on cardstock. This piece here is two and three eighths of an inch square. The next one is two inches square and a one and seven eighths inch square. You could pull them in a little smaller and get off that eighths marking. Uh, if you like it, I just think the paper is so pretty. I don't want to cover it up. So there's all the measurements and your piece of white. Let's get to scoring our card. I'm going to pull in my simply my trimmer rather and it has a scoring blade on it. So let's open the arm out here. And where we're going to score it is at these measurements. I'm gonna score with the 11 inch side long to the right. I'm gonna score at three, six, seven and a half, nine, and 10. I'll repeat that. So that was scoring along the 11 inch side at three inches, six inches, seven and a half, nine and 10. And that's what's going to make our beautiful card. We're now done with that now. You'll need a bone folder something to fold your card with. So uh, we're doing mountain and valley folds. So I'm gonna fold the three inch segment back, then this segment up, then the next piece down, this piece up, and the last piece down. And you'll see it'll make a nice progression step, kind of like a stair step card. I'm just gonna go through and add my scoring and then I'm going to fold it over on the other side and score that side too. Once it sits in an envelope, it'll be fine. Okay, so there is our stair piece, our little accordion piece. So to open it back up to show again, that was your three inch, then your six inch that folds to the back. Then this is your seven and a half. Nine and 10. All righty, let's get to the fun part. We're going to, oh, to make it easy, let's get this piece of white on the back. And it measures four by two and three quarters. It fits nicely on the back for writing a message. Use your adhesive of choice. You don't even have to put this on the back if you don't want to, you could put it on the inside. I just think if I was sending this out that I would put the message there. And this is crushed curry, if you're wondering. 
I just did for the very front on this one, a happy birthday tag. In fact, I pulled it from my stash. Let's work from the largest piece out. So on our two and seven eighths inch piece, we're gonna add adhesive. Stick it onto its mat. That is three by three. We'll set that aside to dry for a second. Then now we'll take our two and three eighths inch square piece, add some adhesive, put it on the two and a half inch square piece. This is where you want a pattern that doesn't have an obvious up and down, just makes it simpler as you're gonna be putting it on an angle. And our one and seven eighths inch piece, you guessed it, we're gonna add some glue and we're gonna put it on its matching two by two. There we go. Such a fun card. Placement's kind of important on the first piece. You want to open your card up. So you're, there's your three inch segment. There's your next segment in front of you. And you're gonna see which way works best sticking up. Mine is very much uh, a pattern with no obvious up and down. But in order for this to fit in the card, excuse me, in the envelope, you don't want to line this up too high because if you do, it's going to be too wide to fit nicely in, <clears throat> pardon me, to fit nicely into a card. So what we wanna do is have it down a little bit. So what you'll see here is on my original one, to pull that up to show you, I have the point touching the score line here, but I don't want it to touch so much that when I fold this up, it's going to, it's going to push it forward. I want to keep it a little bit above the score line. And that means that my two points are going to be aligned there to be even. So I've got a bit of an even little triangle I'm looking for here. So since we're adding glue, I kind of put my finger where it is. I know I'm going to glue the bottom part of the triangle down. All right, so the bottom half of this square. So find the center point, line up these two edges. You could use your grid paper. You could get real fussy and mark lines. I don't get fussy. It's just simple. And I just wanna check that I don't have any glue coming out the back end of it here. Just wanna make sure that it's before I get further because then I can clean the glue up. Then the next piece, we want it to land so that you can see it in there on the previous piece. So we're gonna fold this step up. We're gonna get an idea of where it's gonna fit. And I kind of want, because it's exactly the same pattern, I wanna make sure that my pieces have a little bit of individuality to them. So you'll see when I'm going to lay this down, that I want it to be near that line, but not right on it. So I'm gonna push it up just a titch. That's a measurement, a titch somewhere between a 16th and an eighth. And you'll also notice that I don't want my glue to go all the way up to the halfway point. I only want glue in this bottom point. So what I did was I put my finger where it meets and I'm keeping my glue below that spot. Hold it here for you so you can see I'm only putting glue here. And I'm gonna get it placed. You can use the one above to help you line it up though, because you can see, you can eyeball, or if you need to take a ruler, you can stick your ruler there. And again, I'm just gonna double check that I don't have any glue sticking up here that I need to pull off. And then my last step, the very front piece, is where the smallest one's going to go. Once again, we don't want to go right down to the bottom because we don't want it to squish. And so we have a very small piece on which we can put our glue. It's going to stick though. If you use liquid glue or tear and tape or something strong like that, oopsie. See what I did? I touched my glue there. There we go. Just peel it off with my finger. There we go. And liquid glue is great because if it's not exactly where you want it, you can squish it over. There we go. So there's my stair card like that. So pretty. And then I decided this would be a birthday card. 
So I'm going to put birth, happy birthday here. It's actually bigger than I wanted. Maybe what I'll do is hand cut this one out. I put it on a label, but I think it's too much, too much white space. So I'm going to hand cut this out. Love this paper. It's called Rings of Love. It's a free celebration paper. And I've used so many of the patterns. And you can get it for minimum $60 purchase. You get 12 sheets of 12 by 12. Six different, like 12 different patterns. They're double-sided. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. And there's my happy birthday. I can really jazz this up and add a whole bunch of other embellishments. But the idea today was just to show you how this card goes together and have my greeting in the back. All right, I hope you liked it and we'll give it a try. Have a wonderful evening and I'll see you next time. Bye.